from the Review Journal is here. And a big development this morning, Sting coming to the Coliseum at Caesars Sting. Palace. That's a huge headliner. In May yeah. of 2020. 2020. Everything's <laughs> coming in 2020, right? I know 2020 <laughs> is going to be a big year in Las Vegas, and yeah. Sting's going to be in the middle of it. It's going to be, yeah, a series at the Coliseum, which we've mm -hmm. talked about. is going to be renovated uh, this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's he's played a number of times here with uh, on his solo career, which has been great, and also with the Reunited Police, including a show that I saw at uh, Rain Nightclub one time oh. with the police. But he is a uh, what they call a legacy artist, spans many generations back to 1977 when the police were founded and uh, he should do well he is very very popular among many demographics and he's mm -hmm. a very respected man and uh, has a many hits with the police and in his solo career so that's um, I'm going to start in 2020 of next year and tickets on sale Friday morning. Yeah, they go on sale quick, right? Mm -hmm. People like to reserve their Giving spot. And it's good shot. for planning. It's good for planning. I wish all of them would do that, yeah. actually. Yeah, it gives you a, a time to, to have, sit the show there and, and find your tickets. And, yeah. and, and you, know, you know Sting's going to be you know uh, profitable, whether it's this May or next May. Right. So that's the reason for that. Yeah. All right, Chris Angel uh, making some changes. Mm -hmm. He's what? He's got some shoulder issues, which I can imagine from watching his show how much he puts into it. Yeah, <laughs> I it know. That would hurt the shoulder. When I saw, when I walked, you know what, Dana? when I walked through the Chris Angel's theater before the show opened, we saw the opening mm -hmm. too, I wondered how he was going to be able to pull us off physically because it is a very aggressive show in every context. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to do what he does. He does an upside down spinning uh, straight jacket escape. He does the, the levitate thing at the end. He's, in, mm -hmm. he's involved in a kind of a Matrix style combat scene and it's and you know, factually speaking, Chris turned 51 last year. It's not. It's it's a young man's art, and he's um, feeling some of the wear and tear, frankly. And so, what he's going to do is take down his 9:30 shows uh, for the foreseeable future, and then go in for rotator cuff surgery on his left shoulder uh, next early next year. And he's going to try and uh, kind of baby it along, or, or do the show as he normally does, but mm -hmm. not do those later shows, but those later shows also on top of this are not easy to sell. The 930 shows are hard to sell in Las Vegas. Really? It's not quite half of his schedule, but I think there are a total of uh, 32 dates that are, have been affected. Hmm. So um, you know you're going to be able to sell well at 7 o'clock. You okay. know you're going to be able to get better with your shoulder and, and make this thing happen. And he's gonna, he also said that his, he's going through 2024, the show is. So okay. that's the first timeline we've had on Chris's show at, at uh, Planet Hollywood. So a lot of news happened over the weekend, all of it on his Instagram account. Okay, yeah, yeah. I follow a lot of family mm -hmm. stuff on there too. I enjoy seeing stuff things with Chris's the kids and yeah, yeah he's got exactly. a good Instagram. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk Backstreet Boys. Boy, I saw them once and I wanted to go back Backstreet Boys, yeah. uh, but I didn't make it, and I'm kind of bummed because they are ending this weekend. Yep, this is it. Well, ending their Vegas <laughs> they're residency. Yeah, they're ending the, the current Vegas residency this, this week. Vegas residency this weekend. There you go. Uh, they're going to tour behind uh, DNA, their mm -hmm. latest album, which did really well, mm -hmm. and they're still uh, marketable in real time artists. This is not necessarily just a nostalgia act. They're they're selling music currently, which yeah, is a are. very positive development. They did the uh, thing uh, last week where they put their hands in cement out mm -hmm. in front of the Planet of Hollywood so they, their handprints could live in perpetuity at the hotel. And they were joking about, or not joking, they were uh, flippantly, I guess, mm -hmm. saying that they were gonna, they were ready to sign for another extension uh, and to come back to Las Vegas that day. Okay. So they had Live Nation officials there, Caesars entertainment officials, and I was like, well, if there's a contract around, sign them up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but they've done very well here, and I'm going to see them on their, their send-off on Saturday night, and yeah. it should be great. It, they've, they've sold more tickets in a single show at Planet Hollywood than anybody, because they open up that balcony from, occasionally for those okay. guys. So they, they do rock it. it. It's a really good show, yeah. So it'll be sad to see them go, and maybe they'll come somewhere else. I, I, think <laughs> they will. I believe they will. All right. Mm -hmm. Listen, you can read more about this and much more. A couple shows extending as well. All in Katz's column. It's posted uh, right now. Mm -hmm. And there's the link. And Katz will be back next week. You know it.